Good morning everybody, welcome back to Munich. Right in front of me, right behind you, is the setup of the Oktoberfest. I already did a video on that about 10 minutes ago. So, uh, but the other side of the Oktoberfest is pretty interesting as well. So, oh, here we go. Let's turn away from uh, the beer heaven that it will be in about three month time and turn around and see a little bit of history because the Bavaria here, one of the symbols of Munich, the huge sculpture with the lion, this looks absolutely fantastic. And there's something like a ring of honor, a ring of Bavarian honor in the building right behind it. The Ruhmeshalle, the Hall of Fame. So let's walk up these stairs and have a look at the Hall of Fame of Bavaria. There are of course some uh, generals, there are some kings, and there are quite a lot of them. And uh, is it close? Is it still closed? Oh, this cannot be. No, it's not. Okay. So, some more stairs. Here we are. So, let's have a look at some of these sculptures. Ah. And of course, there has to be this guy on the right, Mongela. His sculpture is not only here, but also in front of the Bayerische Hof. <sighs> this guy is pretty popular here as well, Ludwig Thoma, author. Rudolf Diesel engineer. He invented the diesel engine. Wow, there are a lot of people. And a lot of nice sculptures. This is really not bad. Let's see who else you could know. Who else do I know? Of course, someone royal has to be there. Therese, Princess of Bavaria. And I think if we get over more further over here, the sculptures seem to become a little bit older. Like here, this one. Fraunhofer, optrician. Of course, some royals have to be here. Ludwig I, King of Bavaria, for his 100th birthday. And he was not the guy that built all the castles, that was his son, Ludwig II, the Mad King. A lot of statesmen, scientists, priests. As mentioned, there was a general. Painters, poets, and here this stuff gets really old. <laughs> More painters, and here we are really at the old part. These sculptures look like old Greek sculptures or old Roman sculptures, but they are from the time uh, 1853 until 1944. As mentioned here on this wall. Yeah, the view out here with the Bavaria, with the lion, is really pretty good. I always enjoyed that view. And these uh, amphitheater, this Greek temple looking like uh, sculpture, which is the Hall of Fame, this looks pretty cool too. And of course, the tents of the Oktoberfest in the background. The one gate was closed, so I am i don't know if I should be here right now, if I'm allowed to be here right now. But yeah, we are, so who cares. 
Let's have a look at the ceiling. Not only this nice paintings here on the, on the top half, top end of the wall, bless you. Also the ceiling with a, I don't know, should, should be the sun or the moon. I think the sun, I can't tell. This looks pretty nice. So if you're out in Munich for the Oktoberfest, have this little detour up here. Don't know if it will be open during the Oktoberfest, but yeah, you know what I mean. Just go and have a look here at this very nice Greek temple looking like Hall of Fame of Bavaria. All right, let's get back Oop. out of here. The steps are pretty steep. And now, as I have already had a look at the setup of the Oktoberfest, I will make my way now back home because I have to work today. Damn, such a nice day. And I have to spend the whole afternoon at work, but yeah, it doesn't help. Work is not always fun and yeah, what can I do? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this walk to the Bavarian Hall of Fame here right next to the Oktoberfest. Have a good time and see you soon back in Munich. Goodbye.